Just days before marking his first year in office, the world's youngest elected president made light of a gift. One meant to compare him with the cuddly fictional character Winnie the Pooh. Until a few months ago, Gabriel Boric, who turned 38 last month, wasn't laughing as much. His approval ratings had plummeted, inflation and crime rates were escalating, and a highly controversial presidential pardon of people connected to the violent protests against inequality in 2019 led to the resignation of his chief of staff and the minister of justice. The overwhelming defeat in a referendum last September of a progressive new constitution dealt a harsh blow and was seen as a rejection of the president himself. The constitution was the matrix of his program, of the generation that brought Boric to power, that might have dealt a knockout punch for any government, but Boric showed extraordinary resilience and ability to get up and come out fighting again. Now a new, perhaps less ambitious draft constitution is in the works. The economy is recovering, inflation is down, investment is up, and so are the president's approval ratings. We've had difficulties, I won't deny it, but I want to tell the whole country that today I am full of hope and optimism. Many admire his ability to show flexibility and make concessions when his plans aren't working. Boric is starting his second year with a cabinet reshuffle that above all emphasizes experience. His message to Chileans is that the time for making a diagnosis of this country's problems is over and that it's now time to act. And perhaps for that reason, as opposed to last year, there are very few millennials left in his cabinet. While some more hardline leftists accuse Boric of betraying his principles, many people we spoke to rated him highly. I think he's doing a good job. It's not his fault that the Conservative congressman refused to approve a tax reform bill meant to finance social programs for all of us. And he's the first president to roll up his sleeves right away to oversee the disaster left by this year's forest fires. It's too soon to judge the work of the government in just one year. That takes more time. But in general, I think he's good. I like his style. It's a political style that some people are still trying to come to terms with. But like him or not, the new left president has shown an ability to maintain stability, even in these complex and polarized times. Lucia Newman Al Jazeera, Santiago.